It's time to join us for a special episode. We've been waiting for this for a while now, actually. Forever. Not forever, because we forever. didn't know this guy existed forever. forever. But um, yes. it's time to talk about Austin. Ooh. The McNutt is here. Uh, the first of the new batch of Fender Custom Shop Master Builders. Yep. He was brought in as um, they needed help. And they they lost some of their, their premier builders there on to greener and greater things, I suppose. And they had to call on help from the heavens above. They scoured the earths and they found a few, but we sort of like landed on, they found three. Um, this was the first. <laughs> and um, we landed on this guy because like, you know, we checked his workout, got to speak with him on the phone for a bit and some more. And then, um, yeah, he seemed like a cool cat. And his name is Austin. His name is Austin. Big nut. Big nut. No, it's um so we're gonna we're gonna sort of like talk a little bit about this guy, who he is, where he comes from, and his guitars. They're gonna be playing throughout this thing too. We got three of them. Three guitars, his first batch, all here, all ready to rock and roll. And they're pretty fantastic. So do you know much about this fellow Austin? I know he looks cool. He does look cool. He looks <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of like you're like your alter out. ego hero. Yeah, it's true. I think as far as yeah. that goes. No, he grew up in Canada, Saskatoon. I mean, I was hoping I didn't have to say that. I why? Just, what? Why would you not say that? That's the best part. Well, it's just a hard word to say. It's an awesome word. So he's Canadian, like that other fellow that we'll get into in a little bit. Um, but he spent his like childhood around guitars. He's, you know, there's, it's all over the the bios and stuff. His dad's thing. So we're not gonna get into that too much. But he grew up sort of tinkering toying, working on guitars, old Fenders in particular. And eventually he found his way down down on to the, the USA's in Guitar Craft Academy. In good old Hollywood. Uh, yeah. Hollywood, California. The um the den of sin. But he, he was there and he, he made such an impression on his instructors that he was asked to become an instructor right after he finished. I mean, that can't happen that often, right? That only happens to Tom Cruise in Top yeah. Gun. There so you go. I'm just gonna basically the, Austin is Maverick. I think he, I mean, from the looks of him, he's the Canadian Maverick. He's right. Yeah. Does that work? Anyway, so he's there for five years. Then um, then this other little sneaky Canadian came down named Ronald Thorne. Oh yeah. Ronald Tiberius Thorne, if you want his oh, full name. All the Canadians. I know they they and he came and he saw his work. Is that actually his full name? Let's just Did go with yes. Ask? Just yeah. go with yes for sure. Now. <laughs> It makes me happy. <laughs> okay. God, he got so much cooler all of a sudden. Um, Ronald Tiberius Thorne scouted him out and saw his works, and I was like, hey, you're going to have to come work for me now for a while. And so he did. So with Thorne Guitars, this guy was helping build some of these handcrafted guitars with all Ron himself. Which are pretty darn cool guitars. To be pretty fair. We've had a it's plethora seen any come through here, right? Yep. Um, and now he has been recruited to fill the vacuum of need that the Fender Custom Shop has. And we brought him in. So without further ado, oh, and the only thing that I think, the funniest part on his bio though, I thought was cute, was like, in his spare time, he likes spending time with his girlfriend <laughs> and camping. Whenever and wherever he can. <laughs> I think he should come camp here. Well, I, I just kind of think of him like just like going in like random parking lots of like people's houses. Walmarts. They so not even Walmarts. Walmarts. Just like strangers. Just strange places, <laughs> okay. All right. Just like, or like, you know, or if his girlfriend gets tired of him, which all girlfriends of guitar makers do, she, she'll, she'll have to delete herself from the website. I was going to say that he should come and take us camping and we'll video the whole thing, like in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina. And Jason Momoa has to make a surprise appearance because he has okay. a RV. Let's start guitars without further ado. Number one, take your hands. Ooh. Um, this is this is a pretty cool spec. So this one is a 1956 Stratocaster, aged sonic blue over the old Sunburst, heavy relic, beautiful relicing job on this one. Now this is pretty much I, I want to spec this one out, pretty much to the T of a 56 guitar. Yeah. And so what we did is it's got a 1056 V, a big one. Um, it was great though. Great frets, great the hand rounds, the 56 is obviously in there. So it's a very vintage sounding guitar. It plays vintage right now. But it's got the cool anodized pick current on that I just think is fantastic. Yeah. I want to do a little bit of funk to it. Yeah, just make it a little good. bit odd. That's cool. a that's a cool piece. So beautiful instrument here. This was the first one that arrived. These other two arrived on the same day. Let's just go with 
1959. Ooh. This one's got a massive neck. It's got a large C on it. That might be my favorite neck. The, Johnny was like, I want this guitar. Well, you can't have it because it's not for you. It's not. This one's sadly. <laughs> I say that all the time, though. I, like, I want that one. But I did. H Olympic White. This one's got sort of a mixed stagger pickups. I had a little fun with this one because I like to do that. So I think we put the hand around 59 in the neck. We've got the 60, 63 hand around again, of course, in the middle. And then we went with the old lovingly fat 50s. Nope. And the bridge. It's a little bit of a tweak. We didn't want Crazy. a screamer. We yeah. want a little bit of that milk and glass. Just not, not a total screamer because you got this big chunky neck already. It does work really well. Once you're kicking that overdrive or any of the push, it's a monster. It's awesome. You hold this one too now. And the creme de la creme. Woo! <laughs> you know which one I like the most. Yeah, that's sexy. I like anything pink. We're, we're, I'm not. Look, look at this beast here. Just the filthiness of those pickups and knobs. 64. Makes me Stratocaster. Right here. Just a, a beautiful machine of tonal purity. Shell pink, not aged shell pink, the real nope. shell pink over the three tone sunburst, heavy relic. Got the hand wound 64s in there again Ugh. with all the magic. Austin's put some magic sauce in these pickups. He has sworn to us the magic drippings of the. <laughs> I'm not going to continue I'm just, further. I'm just going to hold these guitars and just, just be silent. But um, we're pretty excited to have our first batch of all three of these at awesome. one time. And. We're going to stand strong behind this strange young man because he's done some good work here. I hope you enjoy these. Enjoy the demos. They're coming out separately as well. They're playing underneath this, but thanks for watching and Godspeed. We shall see you next time. Yeah, right? Click like and subscribe. The bell. Don't forget the bell. It's a good night. This might be mine. Sorry. It's about to happen.